Grain producers are really feeling the heat this summer. What began as an extremely good growing season is now drying up in some parts of the state. While many farmers are gearing up to bring in this year's soybean and corn crops, the harvest is being tempered by dry weather, disease, and insects. As this week in Louisiana Agriculture's A.J. Sabine tells us, some farmers are now preparing for what could be, at best, a break-even year. Crop consultant Blaine Viator sweeps for insects in this soybean field along Jefferson Island Road in Iberia Parish. He's finding more loopers than he can shake a net at. Since the beginning of the crop year, soybean growers in South Louisiana have been tested by bugs, dry weather, and seed shortages. As this field of maturing beans continues to dry down, he says producers may find lower yields based on Louisiana's five-year average. I'd be surprised if we're past about the mid-40 bushel per acre range when you look at the yields overall and average yields. I think a lot of this was due to some drier conditions earlier on. I don't think that's the only, the only thing that's affecting our yields. And we, we had to use a lot of varieties down here that we've never grown before. The growing season of these soybeans has been particularly dry here in Iberia Parish, especially when you consider their proximity to bayous, waterways, and of course, the Gulf of Mexico. However, while the price of grains remains strong, especially in soybeans, the dry weather will almost certainly reduce the yield of many South, South Louisiana soybean crops. However, the news isn't all bad. On average, soybean growers have spent less on insect applications. Plus, Asian soybean rust on soybeans grown in the sugar belt has been practically non-existent. Prices still remain buoyant, but folks at the elevator will be looking for quality as soybeans come into a competitive market. With the scrutiny of these high grain prices, you'll know that these grain buyers are going to be going to scrutinize and really look for the better quality beans at any point. So because of that, we've really focused in as best we can on disease management. Harvest is just around the corner. As long as soybean growers in a sugar soybean rotation can avoid a major weather event like a hurricane or a tornado, growers should break even. With the higher grain prices, with the dramatic reduction in our inputs with pesticides this year, um, that even with those slightly lower yields, when we look at our net profit per acre, we should come out about the same. In Iberia Parish, I'm A.J. Sabine for this week in Louisiana Agriculture. The dry weather notwithstanding, Viator's clients have reported Cercospora invading soybean fields in the Iberia Parish area.